just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go with my Hero Academia number 52. One of my favorite parts about this episode was the burgeoning little love triangle there <laughs> involving Deku, Ochako, and I, I always forget her name, the little creative chick there who, who makes all the costumes and, and you know, the, the, uh, the fixer. You know, she, she can create pretty much anything. The one who... Uh, <laughs> used Ida as a billboard. That that trick. Now, see, the thing is, I, for me, and my rooting interest in this, I, I think the Ochako, I've said it before, the Ochako and Deku thing is really sweet and really cute. But it, me personally, at that age in Deku's position, you guys know how I like crazy chicks. And the creator chick... She's a little bit out there. She's <laughs> she's got them crazy eyes, but yeah. But a, a, a Chaco's a cutie too. So you you kind of you got to root for the relationship to work out to be Ochako and um, Deku. But I don't know. There's something to be said for a little bit of crazy in your life. Um, as always, this the My Hero Academia series. This is uh, something we bring over from the Goosh, which is our Patreon. Uh, the Goosh is where. We watch all, do all our anime video reactions, all, all, all our series reactions over there because, of course, YouTube and the Japanese companies have made it impossible here. So that's where we watch everything. I just got through, oh man, I, I, I'm so deep into this uh, Tournament of Power and Dragon Ball Super now. It's so goddamn good. I was really surprised. Well, I can't say I'm surprised because Jiren is so, uh, somebody out there plowing, sorry guys. Jiren is so wildly overpowered, it's never surprising he took somebody out. I just didn't think we were going to lose, the the tournament would lose hit that early. And really, it was not much of a problem for Jiren to get rid of him. If Goku doesn't come up with Ultra Instinct, there's I don't, I don't see how there's any other alternative other than Universal Heaven wins. And so I'm hoping he can harness... Uh, Ultra Instinct. I won't go into that too much. I, I'm sorry I get sidetracked. I get so excited talking about that stuff. Overlord too. Overlord's cool as hell. Especially now with, with Save Us with Tuare and the, they're about to meet up I believe at some point with the Eight Fingers. So much good shit going on. One piece in the offing. I can't wait. But as always I'll put a um, a list in, in the um, comment section. There will be a pinned post with a list of everything we have watched or are watching over at the Goosh, and if you want to check it out, you can. The uh, As far as the levels, it's five bucks a month. You see everything we put up, three videos a day minimum, six days a week. So, And uh, same thing with this video here. Please watch my little, just my little quick review here. And then if you want to see the entire reaction, there's a link in the description. Just click it to go. Yeah, the, the, in this MHA52, the some of the ultimate moves now are pretty cool. I like the fact that the... Um, the gang is working on them, and it's fun seeing them come up with these ultimate moves. And Deku's going to go with foot soldier warfare. It'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But, you know, talking about his love triangle and stuff, as far as my personal waifu, Midnight was a large part of getting this whole thing set up with them learning their ultimate moves. And I, I would just like to practice some ultimate moves with her. 